Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from Mike Levin SEO, and today I'm going to take care of a tiny thing that's been bothering me for a while, which is this default host name of AlarmPy, which was what was set when I installed um, Arch Linux on the Raspberry Pi SD card from the image. So anyway, it's really pretty easy. All this stuff is typically stored in ETC, and if you did a LS of ETC, you'd see a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, when you're doing hostname stuff, all you need to know is look at the stuff with ls uh, wildcard h for hostname, and it's going to uh, dramatically limit the number of things you're looking for. And of course, it helps if you do ls h asterisk. We've got host.conf, hostname, and hosts, and it's really quite easy. Let me uh, clear, do that again, and we are first going to uh, vim hostname. There's much easier ways to do this as far as like single uh, Linux slash Unix commands uh, where you can replace the contents of text files with output redirection and stuff like that. But this is um, easier for me just editing it in vim. So shift D is delete to end of line, I for insert. Uh, there's a zillion ways I could have done that. Uh, let me actually escape undo undo. I could do CW for change word, which also puts me into insert mode. And I want the host name to be Mike Levin SEO. Write and quit. And now I've got one more file to edit, and that's going to be hosts, plural. So first we did host name, next we do hosts. Now the interesting thing here is on this local uh, line entry, you go to the end and you just put another thing that it's known to be, uh, Mike11SEO. Uh, just like that, Mike11SEO. You just put it at the end of the line of local. And you know to do that just by researching these things, you know, changing host name on Linux, and you'll see all the instructions on Google. And then you quit out of it. Now, you can see my prompt still isn't changed, but that's because it's going to uh, take effect during the next reboot at this point. But if you want it to take effect immediately, uh, well, you can either probably stop and start the network services, or you can just do hostname. And this is a way to do it temporarily if you didn't already, uh, um, if you didn't already, uh, if you didn't want the hostname change to be permanent, you could have just done that. And let's see, my uh, requester didn't update, but I'm going to exit out of that. And I log back in, and there you have it, new host name. That's going to be a lot better to look at than Alarm Pi. Thanks for joining me, and hope to talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.